Hey folks, um, I want to give you just a, a, a very quick update on this um, Hammerland uh, HQ129X um, and that's going to be in the form of the speaker. So what you'll see here is that I've, um, I've painted the, paint, the speaker cabinet. I'll turn it around in a moment to show you. And I've installed uh, a Jensen special design speaker. And um, the only thing I have left to do now is to mount this wire uh, to the speaker frame so that I can't pull it. But um, I'm going to do something a little Clapper. bit different with this one. So this is a, a general good speaker for, um, for you know, music or anything like that. Matter of fact, I want to see if I can find a music station while I'm talking. Now, and move from Skinner. Abraham looked up into the. Kind of hard to find music on AM. 90. That's 904. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for a moment. So, what I plan on doing is closing this back. And how am I going to do that? I'm not going to drill holes in here. I don't want to ruin the cabinet. So, I have a plan. So, let me show you what that plan looks like, and I'll explain why I'm doing it. So, let me show you the parts, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so what I plan on doing is using this foam board multi-pack. It's from Elmer's. I got it on Amazon. It's foam board multi-pack. Uh, there's three boards in there, 16 inches by 20 inches. And it's black, and it's about uh, so thick, like this. And I plan on cutting it to size for this cabinet. And then what I plan on doing um, with that is um, mounting a magnetic tape to it. And I have some of that magnetic, magnetic tape here. Again, I got this on Amazon. It's the Fasten Magnetic Tape 1x10. And it's, um, it's got an adhesive on one side. And you could actually slice it in half and use half of it. And I'm going to mount that on this board. And uh, that's what's going to stick. Before I do that, I'm going to put some batting in there. And the batting is going to help, um, is going to help with the speaker sound in general. Uh, it's going to give me some much, much better lows, bass frequency responses. And it should also help with, uh, with, with treble. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what that looks like now. So those are the parts, right? All done on, um, on Amazon. Inexpensive. Not a lot of money. Let me show you what that looks like. Right back. Okay, so the first thing I did is I cut some of this, um, this batting. And what I plan on doing is just kind of laying it in there like this. I'm not going to fasten it to anything. I'm actually going to double it up. So I'm going to use two pieces, just like this. Okay? So that's what that looks like. And then I've cut a board. And I put a little notch on the bottom for the, uh, for the wire. And I've mounted the magnetic strips right there. And we're going to take this and we're going to put this on here just like this. Okay, so let's turn it around and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, now here's the front of the speaker. Now I have to admit, this is going to be hard for you to hear a difference. Um, but I have my mod, right, my tone mod connected, right, just like I showed you. And um, I've got it connected to the speaker and I have the back on the speaker. And you're not going to be able to tell from here, but it's a lot less tinny. Through Mercedes Benz Financial Services. Only if you're authorized. It actually feels really, really solid. Both New Balance stores have a full stock of running, walking, baseball, cross training, and tennis shoes. You'll find sizes 5 to 18. And the reason why I like that back on there is a few, a few reasons. One is that it, um, it actually does project the bass. I mean, you can't see it on, hear it on the camera, but even when I have this up like this, Excellent. I'm feeling that, um, that bass coming at me, which is good. And it also keeps the inside of this cabinet clean, right? So one of the problems with these old speakers is that they get dirt inside and all kinds of crap. Um, that back is going to protect it, and uh, it's going to keep it sealed. And there it is right there, right? And uh, it's not damaging the case. It's magnetic. I can remove it. 
and it actually is going to end up making a much better sound on the sound. So that's a quick, uh, quick little tip if you have one of these speakers, is you can, uh, you can, you know, you can create a back for it without damaging the case, and I wouldn't want to drill holes in it. Under for you. Twenty hours See? of sleep the next four days. God's probably going to be under. <laughs> so anyway, when this thing is done, I'm going to get some great sound out of it. Still waiting for the faceplate. Haven't gotten the faceplate back yet. So uh, just going to be patient. They said that they did say seven to ten business days. So you know that's two weeks. And um, and once we get that, um, we're going to put the uh, the tone controls in there, and we're going to get this thing back together. I have all the screws here that I've painted for the faceplate ready. These are the screws that hold the faceplate on. These are for the um, the switches for the tone mod. So that's all ready to go. And uh, it's just a question of waiting. So um, we're going to do that. And uh, to close this video out, this is uh, something for Carl. Sky Carl. I'm sure you all know Carl. Um, he had a video up recently about his uh, Aleko, Alenco radio kit. And uh, I told him that I was going to buy one of these and see how, how, how it worked and what I can learn from it. And I'm going to do this one as well and, uh, and create a video for it. And the reason why I like this is, you know, I work on AM radios, but I don't quite understand the whole AM mixer and oscillator thing. And, you know, the second detector. And I, I just don't understand that stuff completely well like I should. So um, I'm hoping that this radio, when I put it together, will be true to form, as Carl stated, and not work so that I have to troubleshoot it. So um, this will be a project that I do in a future video. Um, I am going to be away for a bit, so uh, so you probably won't see anything from me for about 10 days or so. Um, you will definitely won't see the front faceplate of this until uh, the week of the 22nd. So um, this will be the last video that I put up for, for a bit of time. But I wanted to uh, show you all about that tone mod and, uh, you know, and also the back cover for the speaker and when I get this thing all put together and I get some decent music, I'll show you what it sounds like with the cover and without the cover on the back, and you will hear a difference, I think. So anyway, short video for today. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it's been beautiful weather here in Jacksonville. I think we're up to 90-something today. We've had a lot of smoke, though, because there's a lot of fires around here. Very, very dry, and we're having a lot of smoke, uh, you know, smoke from the fires that are burning around. So anyway, that's the, that's the story, and I'll see you guys later. This is Ron.